You've probably used Flickr separation to retouch your image so many times. But what if there was a faster way and easier way to actually retouch the skin? Retouching Academy does drop a new tool called the New Skin that will help you retouch faster and easier. And I'm going to be testing that in this video. And can this new tool actually replace frequency separation? Let's find out. So if you install the new version of Beauty Retouch version 5.1, you are going to see the Gaussian Blur frequency separation has been replaced with this new skin tool right here. So let me just open the old one so we can compare them side by side. This is the old one and this is the new one. So if you see the old one, you can see we have focus separation via Gaussian Blur. And on this new one, there is no focus separation via Gaussian Blur. It was replaced with this new skin right here. And if you've ever used focus separation to retouch your image, you know it takes time to actually get a good result. But with this new skin tool, you don't need a special skills. All you need is your brush tool and just brush on your image and just going to retouch your image for you. So let's find out if this actually works. To use this new skin feature, all you have to do is duplicate your layer by pressing on Command J. After that, click on the new skin right here. I'm just going to load your action for you. And all you have to do is to click on this black layer mask, pick your normal brush tool, use a soft round brush, opacity set to 100, and just use a flow between 30 and 50. So I'm going to use 30, I'm going to use 30 and hit OK. And I'm just going to zoom in on the image. And before I start painting, I'm going to turn off this skin texture right here so that I can see what I'm doing. So immediately I start painting, you're just going to blur the skin for us. So you don't have to do any special thing. All you have to do is to just brush on the image like this. I'm just going to make the image soft. We're going to turn on the high texture um, layer later to add texture to the image. So I'm going to paint on the image with my normal brush too. So like I said, I'm using a soft round brush. My opacity is set to 100, my flow is set to 30, and also make sure your foreground color is set to white because this mask right here is a black mask. If it's on another color, just click on this small black and white icon right here to turn it to default black and white and make sure your foreground color is set to white and just paint on your image. That's the only thing you need to do. You don't need to have any special skill to use this method to retouch your image. So let's just paint on the image like so and see the results we are going to get after. All right, so let this work for me. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn on this high texture layer right now. I'm going to turn it on to add texture to the image. And immediately I do that, you can see we've added texture to this image. Now let's see our before and after. See our before and after. Our before and after. And you can refine this even more. So let's say you want to add more skin texture to your image. All you have to do is scroll all the way down and you are going to see new skin texture right here. So for this new skin texture, we have two options. We have the add noise and we have the Gaussian blur. So if you add noise to your image, you have to increase the Gaussian blur to compensate for the noise you added. So for example, maybe I want to add more skin texture to this image. I can just click on this, double click on this add noise layer right here. And it's going to open this noise option. I can add more noise to add more skin texture as you can see. And, and I'm going to click OK. So I'm going to add more skin texture to the image as you can see, but it's not looking good. So to compensate, what I can do, I'm just going to double click on this Gaussian Blur right here. Once I double click on it, it's going to open. So I'm going to move the blur radius up just to compensate for that um, texture we added just to make it look real as you can see. But I'm not going to be doing this. It's just try and error. Just play with it and see what works for you. What I usually do for this noise, I'm just going to add a noise of about 20. I think 20 always works for me. So I'm going to add 20. All right, so you can see it's looking a whole lot better right now. Next, I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this Gaussian Blur Radius and just play with the blur to see if I want to make the image look more smoother. So you can see as I'm taking the blur up, it's just making the image look more smoother. So if you are going for this kind of plastic look, you can use it, but I don't want that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the Blur Radius down until I feel it's okay. Let's use about two. All right, so about 2.6 works for me and I'm going to hit okay. All right, so see the before and the after. And that thing you can do, if you want to blur the skin tone just to make the skin to look even, even more, just scroll the way down and you're going to see this skin to option right here. All you have to do is click on this media blur right here. So double click on it. 
I'm just going to open this medium block like this. And if I take the radius all the way to one, we are going to see the effect. So you can see it's as if we do not do anything on the image if I take the radius to one. So what I'm going to do, I usually use between 80 for this. So I'm going to use 80 and I'm going to hit OK. Now another thing you can do, this one is optional. If you want to add texture or make the image look even smoother, you can do this. Now this is a trick I learned. I'm just first of all going to hide this high texture layer, this place that says work here. I'm going to hide it and select this my skin texture right here and double click on this high pass. I'm just going to open this high pass right here. So if you want to add more textures, just move the radius up. So you can see as I'm doing that, it's adding textures to the image. And if you want to make the image look really smooth, just take this test, this radius down and just going to make the image look smooth like that. What I usually do, I just take this radius up to add a bit of texture, about six, and I'll hit OK. Then immediately I click on this texture work here layer. Once I click on it, it's just going to bring back the original textures. So to review that new skin texture I added, all I have to do is click on this skin texture work here layer and just take down the opacity. Immediately, I bring down the opacity. It's just going to review that skin texture and as you can see. So if I take it all the way down to zero, you can see the skin textures. And if I take it all the way up to 100, you can see it's looking a bit smoother. So what I usually do, I just take the opacity down to about 60 or 70. Let's use 70, 70 works for me. So, see the before and the after. Now from here, if there's still skin texture on your image that you want to remove, or if there's blemishes on your image that you want to remove, this is how you can remove it. All you have to do is pick on your close stamp tool. Once you select your close stamp tool, make sure your mode is set to normal, opacity set to 100, flow set to 100, align is selected, and current layer is selected. If it's your current and below, and you try to sample with alternate and paint, it's going to leave some patches as you can see. So we don't want those kind of patches. So make sure your current layer is on current and below. And to remove the blemishes, make sure you're working on this skin texture work here layer right here. Once you select it, pick your close time tool, hold option or alternate to sample from a good area and just paint on the blemishes you want to remove like that. To remove blemishes you still, you are still seeing on your image. And if you try that and it's not working for you, all you can do is just close this group and add a new empty layer. Once you add a new empty layer, take your close time tool, change your sample layer from current layer to current and below because now we are working in a new empty layer and you can just zoom in and just press alternate to sample from where you want to remove the blemishes and just paint on blemishes you still want to remove. And if you don't want to use the close time tool, what you can do, you can just pick your spot filling brush tool. Once you pick your spot filling brush tool, make your sample layer is selected, zoom in on your image, use the square bracket key to increase and decrease your brush size according to the blemishes you want to remove and just paint on any blemishes you want to remove and it's just going to remove those blemishes for you just like that all right so that's how you can remove more blemishes but before i do this what i'm going to do i'm just going to delete this new layer and just reduce the opacity of this new skin i'm going to take it all the way down to about 80 so that i can get the original image as well because i feel it's looking too smooth like this if i take it all the way down to zero it's as if we're not doing anything it's too much i just take the opacity all the way down to about 80 all right so see the before and the after and any blemishes I'm still seeing on the image, I just add a new empty layer and just use the sparkling brush to, to paint and just to remove it. Or I use the remove tool to remove any blemishes I'm still seeing on the image. Let's see our before and after. All right, so this is our before. You can see the image and this is our after. Our before and after. Now this tool only works with portrait and beauty image, that is headshot. It does not work with full body image for now. What do I think about this new tool and will I be using it? Well, no, I'll not be using it because I think it makes my image look unprofessional and it makes the image look too smooth. But it can be useful to you, but I don't see any scenario of where I'll be using this tool. You can try it out and let me know what you think in the comment section of this video. And if you want to learn how to retouch your image from start to finish using a beauty retouch frequency separation, Check out this video right here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.